40-pound tight end that Dabo Sweeney says the best tight end he has ever coached at Clemson. Now Moffa gets a chance inside, bounces off the initial tackler. You see, they're going to pull the backside guard and tackle, and just the ability to break through the arm tackles. To give them off of here, powers his way forward, first down in midfield. To a dual play, they get everybody going forward, double teams across the board, and you see the power of this offensive line for Clemson just walking back. Much more of him this year as the bell cow back falls forward for about ready stool lineup in the slot. Third receiver in from the bottom of your screen, pitching it to Maffa. As blockers on the outside, and one of them was Brittany Stool, but Maffa was brought down. After the coverage on the outside it was a cover two. They felt like they had good angles and just said, hey, look, let's get Phil Maffa one on one in the hole with the safety. <laughs> that little graphic, that cartoon animation, first time I saw that, I was like, hey, look at Dabo. <laughs> Standing outside the club. Successful coaches in all of college football history doing it his way. Maffa beyond the 35. That'll move the change. Again, they're getting back to these double team blocks up front, just coming straight ahead. Smith ran with him down the field. He just <laughs> never turned to look at the look for the ball. The ball hung up there so long. Maffa tries a stiff arm. Gets an extra couple of yards. Klubnik to throw. Has all kinds of time scanning. The field goes underneath. Tamafa makes the catch. 20 down to the 10 before finally being forced out of bounds. Trey McDonald, number eight, does a good job of staying over top of Phil Maffa. It's just when the ball is being delivered, you can't go and try to jump in front and make a play on the football. You've got to tackle the running back. And again, penalties hurting the Tigers. They move him back 15 yards. Maffa. Trying to get all of it back on this carry. Big burning stool. Maffa. Still on his feet down to the 10. Well, playoff. Those are plays that Kate Klubnik has got to review on film and correct and make going forward. Maffa. Picks up about three. He's gone over 50 yards. A solid player for Virginia, but those are two mistakes for him on this drive. Pitch to Maffa. He'll score easily. After the turnover thrown in the last series by Cade Klubnik, he came back and although he missed some big targets down the field, he was consistent with hitting the underneath routes and then Phil Maffa splits the uprights. And Clemson comes right back. Virginia scored off the INT. Tigers march down the field, even things up at 10 here in Death Valley. Give them off a. Did he get in? Officials come in. No signal yet. Now we get it. Touchdown number two on the day for Phil Moffa. Bring the tight end across the ball, a little swap read type play, and then a good job pushing by this offensive front, getting Phil Maffa across the line in the end zone. Right, on the tight end this half. Yeah, we certainly will, and he'll make plays if he's in the game. Number nine in orange, opting to go with them. In the absence of both Tyler Brown and Brian Wesco, who are out, Maffa plows into a defender, falls forward. You get the big play on the outside to your speedy receiver, and then old reliable. Just coming downfield, laying the punishment against the lot. The best. And five passes of over 20 yards in this game. That's the big play. Here's Maffa with a big play. Bounces it outside, down to the 26. From Maffa, cutback lane. Cam Robinson gets pinned outside. Phil Maffa, great job of coming back and finding some. Virginia bringing a little bit of pressure. Klubna can't escape. He does get it to Maffa, but he's in all kinds of trouble in the backfield, and he'll lose yardage. For Chico Bennett is Cam Butler on the top. You see on the bottom of the screen, that's Chico Bennett. It's, that's close. 
But Cam Butler just beats the block by Phil Maffa. Blocking, running after the catch. Maffa in the backfield. Take it down for a loss. Jonas position until Klubnik made his check. You see him creep down towards the top of the screen. And that confused Olsen Pat Henry, the tight end of, you know, who was Mike. Back after the off date, which is next week. Maffa lowers his shoulder, moves the pile for the first down. Hey, look at the fullback here, Mark. Yeah, go hand it to Peter Woods. See if he can pick it up himself. They use Woods as the lead blocker. Oh, Maffa, oh, no oh, problem. Oh, 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 oh. Peter Woods <laughs> just coming through the line of scrimmage. He absolutely flattened. And now we've got all kinds of flags, and some people are unhappy about what they just saw. You see, first of all, great block by Peter Woods, flattening the safety. And you see in that scrum towards the 45-yard line, that's where Ben Smiley is number 10 on the ground. And he just, he, he, he gator tackles the offensive lineman, Tristan Lee. And then you see, he.